Hi everyone. Today we're going to pray regarding. Um, actually, today I'm going to pray for 15 seconds, and then we're going. I'm going to give you guys some advices regarding spiritual warfare that us Christ Yahweh Shai worshippers and followers and servants and children we must be doing daily and several times per day. Okay. Father God, by the mighty name of the live, true living God, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Bashim Rekakadash, I pray that you will be protecting and giving protections to all of humanity who are the good and righteous, um, especially the codependents, empathic narcissists, and all of the empaths who are the good and righteous people, but we are the good and righteous and the holy people to give us protection to against the wicked, evil, and bad people who are the narcissists, covert narcissists, especially the fake superhero actor and innocent, the fake superhero actor type covert narcissist, psychopaths, sociopaths, and overt narcissists who practice black magic, witchcraft, and sorcery, who are the Satan's worshipers, and who are the, um, who are the wicked behaviors committers and doers once to against the humanity and who are the bad people obviously and who are the evil faithful persons ones the evil faithful persons ones to the satan just like us we are the holy faithful persons ones to the true living god yahweh shai well they're the evil faithful persons ones to the satan Okay, the opposition. Uh, we ask you, Father God, kindly to give us protections too against these Satan's puppets. And then we ask you, please, Father God, to, uh, um, to also give them protections too against their master. Because I know that, I know for a fact when they stop committing wickedness because they keep getting double. It's not because they love God, but because they hate but because they no longer want to be having miserable life continuously worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And worse. Uh, they stop doing wickedness, so Satan will turn all the demons and the Satan, they will all turn to against their puppets, their worshippers, who no longer commit wicked physical moves, behaviors, projections to against others. Who commits that? Uh, those Satan's worshippers are the committers ones to against others who are the humans, humanity. Especially to against the good and righteous people who are not possessed by the Holy Spirit. They are not holy, right? So you guys get the point basically. Like um, these people, um, God's need them to, you know, we say every day, um, Father God, send your angels. Actually, sorry, I need to finish my prayer. So yeah, by the mighty name of the true living God, Yahweh Shai Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. So yeah, time for the advice. So what am I why am I making this video today is because you guys need to learn how to wage offensive spiritual warfares to against our greatest enemies and physical warfares and spiritual warfares and cognitional warfares offensively, okay? Wage offensive spiritual warfares cognitionally to against the demons brains does that make sense and uh, wage wars to against offensively to against the demons physically and spiritually but to against the puppets for the satan wage wars to against them spiritually only that will affect them physically but they will not be tortured they will only like having um spiritual tortures that they will still experiences no pains during the tortures and torments and punishments that comes by the angels too against the satan's worshippers and puppets so let me get this right so, so let me get you guys this right actually um when someone is evil right you pray against his demons right and uh you pray against the evil spirits and the demons and then i'm pretty sure this person he will move weirdly like so when you wage wars spiritually too against the Satan's puppets, that will affect them physically, but they will not experience pains and tortures. Why? Because they're humans. We don't torture humans, even if they're wicked, right? Even though we are able to by our God, but we're too weak to do it and powerless to do it. They're more powerful than us physically, but our God can easily 
destroy them. Destroy all of the angels and the demons and the Satan's puppets and me and you like this. So nothing is impossible by our God. And I think the, the second thing is you guys need to understand how do we wage spiritual wars, warfares to against uh, the Satanists that will affect them physically and wage um, cognitional warfares also offensively and defensively to against uh, the Satanists that will affect their brains. So you wage spiritual warfare that will affect them so when you wage wars spiritually to against them, that will affect them physically. But they will not be tortured. And when you wage cognitional warfare to against them, that will affect their brains. And of course, we wage wars to against their emotional, heart, um, financial, sexual, um, cognitional, em uh, emotional, physical by the both ways appearances and behaviors their physical moves behaviors that only but no torture and punishment no pain they shall be receiving and physical moves appearances so they will no longer possess the false self physical moves appearances that will deceive innocent human especially ourselves and uh, to against them um to against them spiritual physical and emotional, heartal, and cognitional, which means brain, uh, mental. I call it cognitional, right? Cognitionally, it means uh, brain, mental, you know, brain. Um, uh, so, yeah, so how do we do that? By obviously waging um, attacks and defenses to against their attacks that they wage to against ourselves, and make sure that you guys will be waging uh, attacks. Uh, to against all of the demons our greatest enemies in order to eliminate the demons and this allow them by using force continuously unlimited times non-stop continuously to be in contact with their puppets because think about it if we attack the puppets that's not gonna that's not going to make um like that's not gonna help it by much right so we have to attack to against uh, the the greatest enemies in order to Eliminate them and then after that they will no longer be receiving supernatural powers assistances and services and uh, All of this type of uh, satanic rituals by the demons, right? Because they're summoning demons. So in these situations They will be receiving uh, you know, um, they will be receiving all types of uh, tortures uh, the demons and the, after that they will no longer be able to be you know re receiving any Types of supernatural powers by the demons, so we eliminate the demons. Okay, by the mighty name of the true living God, Yahweh Shai Christ of Nazareth, I pray, Amen. And um, we also need to, like, we also need to, uh, you know, basically, you know, wage attacks to against all of their puppets by taking avenges. Like the angels will be taking revenges on behalf of someone else and revenges. When God see his children being venged to against and abused to against by others, um, God will take revenges and uh, also we take vengeance. Well, vengeance is that's going to be in uh, during the millennium, but vengeance, that's the opposite of revenge. Now you can ask me, why do you take vengeance to against our greatest enemies? Well, and our sm smallest enemies, if it's uh, if you guys want to. But I personally... Don't do that. But I do that too against our greatest enemies. Um, so when you take vengeance too against the demons, you will get them to feel of how does it feel as to be attacking? How does it feel as to be attacked by others without a cause? Because that's what they do. But in their mind, they're taking revenge because they have victim. They they will behave and they will behave inside emotionally that as they are the victim abused and the attacked ones by others because how can how dare other people have good life and they have miserable life so they get envious and they will become to be the attackers the abusers and the guilty ones too against others who are the humanity right so they will become guilty one too against you guys especially to against the good and righteous people by sending their puppets and by using their puppets to be abusing attacking and being the guilty ones too against ourselves but they, they view that as a revenge, but in fact they're taking a venge, not a revenge. So anyways, we send the angels to be waging attacks, venges, to against them. Before they're about to be going to be waging attacks to against ourselves, 
unlimited times continuously where we will be waging attacks too against them instead. Does that make sense? Or at least during they are waging the attacks, we are going to send the angels to also attack them during they are waging the attacks too against ourselves. But it's always better that we do it before they do it too against ourselves. Does that make sense? But during, that's also not by adoption, but then, you know, it's a lot to be, it's better to be saved than sorry, right? Because during you may be hurt, right? So, um, you know, so this is an example of how you do it. Father God, by the mighty name of the true living God, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Hamashiach, Bashim, Rekha, Kedash, I pray. Please, Father God, go and uh, send your angels on missions and assignments to be waging offensive and defensive spiritual warfares to against all of those before they're about to be gone to be practicing witchcraft, black magic, wicca, and all the darkness, evil powers, and sorcery, and black magic. Um, and make sure that you will be attacking them continuously, unlimited times, and permanently, always, non temporarily, never. Um, before they're about to be gone to be projecting curses, waging wars, attacks, to against whomever, even if it's to against other warlocks and witches, even if it's to against other wicked people, still protect them to against the senders and protect the senders to against the uh, to against his demons who controls him that they want him to project and wage wars and curses and abuses to against other wicked people right so we pray father god that you will be sending your angels to be attacking to against all of the demons mercilessly continuously spiritually physically with them experiencing the pains of course and cognitionally and all of the above emotionally and hardly so they will no longer be able to be um giving you know supernatural power services um assistances to their puppets by disallow the masters who are the demons to against their puppets to be doing wickedness to their puppets by giving them some supernatural powers, assistances, or to be committing wickedness to against their puppets after their puppets they no longer want to be committing. After their puppets, they no longer want to put up, put up with their, put up with the bull crap of the demons. Like they no longer want to be Satanists. Well, you know, protect them. Even though they should give true repentances to the Lord. But these people are stiff necked, psychopaths and narcissists, victim mindset. Even then, though the demons have turned against them and they did everything, they will still not repent. They're loyal puppets, even if they still don't want to work for the devil. It's unbelievable. So now they, they hate the devil and they hate Christ. But before they used to lust the devil, and of course they extremely hate Christ, now they hate both. It's unbelievable. Well, it's good that they hate the devil, but then why do you hate God too? He's the one who can help you. But of course they have victim mindset. What can we do? There's that's why there's laws, commandments, and rules on the Bible that says do not commit murder, do not be envious of others, do not steal, do not, do not, do not. Right? I mean, who's meant? Who is? Who are these laws and commandments meant to be for? It's meant to be for for these devils that walks amongst side of us. Yet you have the police and the government protect these people. Because the police themselves are also, most of them, not all, and they have the military, are they themselves are psychopaths and covert narcissists. And they make the gangsters, so they will arrest these overt narcissists. And then they make the police officers the covert narcissists, not all, but most of them. And then they have sociopaths who works as comedians, joker, and I don't know, like, and they have the psychopaths who are career criminals. Mafia members, militia soldiers, and military soldiers. And then you have those like warlocks, those career criminals and mafia members. Especially the career criminals, you have the police protect these people to against us. If we dare to defend ourselves or talk back or to fight back spiritually. So they want you to be ignorant, self-defenderless and allowful ones, enabler, allowful ones. To their abusive wickedness to against ourselves continuously, permanently, non-stop, more than once. It's like they want us to force them to abuse us. Does that make sense? 
Yet they use force to against ourselves to allow them continuously, unlimited times, more than once. We like we some they want us to allow them to walk all over us continuously, like to keep severely abusing to against ourselves continuously, nonstop, more than once, many times, right? By us giving them allowances, so by you become a codependent, a slave. For them by giving them by you giving them allowances unlimited times continuously always you, that you will allow them to enslave you control you right because they will call you oh your controller they will get you to feel and behave inside they will get you to feel as you are the controller one two against others so you will allow them to get you to become to be the controlled one by others who is them okay so when you allow them and when you allow them to intimidate you that's a very powerful one so have you ever guys like walk in the street and then you see people like they look at you is like you are the intimidator one two against them. so they will get you to feel and they will get you to behave inside emotionally that as you are the intimidator one two against others so you will allow others people to get you to become, to be intimidated, the intimidated one, uh, the intimidated one back by others to against yourself, that as you will behave outside physically, that as you are the intimidated one by others. So you will say to yourself, sorry, so you'll say to yourself, oh, I deserve to be intimidated because I was the intimidator one, two against others, where in fact, you're supposed to disallow others to intimidate you because you were not even the intimidator one two against others people in the first place. Does that make sense? So that's how they want to turn you into a good puppet slave. Okay? Now these devils, psychopaths, narcissists, sociopaths, they project their shame. Actually, they talk about he does use shame and guilt, but then he doesn't feel shame and guilt. But these people, they do uh, like... They are, they intimidate others. They are the intimidator. One, two against others outside physically. That as they will behave outside physically. That as they are the intimidator. One, two against others. Because they will behave inside emotionally. That as they are the intimidated ones by others. Okay. Now why are they intimidated by us in past? Very simple. Well, they're not actually scared by us. I mean, look at the size. Even if it's a psychopath who is smaller than us physically, like younger, whatever, like younger and smaller than mine, I'm 5'5". Five, five. Like, they're not scared by us. And even if he has less power, which is they do have more powerful than us, like when it comes to fighting and being violent, they're stronger than us. They can easily put me to... Uh, they can easily put me to sleep and get